Today our text and all these devotions are still coming from Symbols of Salvation, this Advent book. And I guess I should clarify, I'm not just reading the devotion to you. Um, I'm taking kind of the theme of the devotion and giving some of my thoughts and, and going a different direction. So like, just because you're watching these videos doesn't mean that it's not worth also checking this out. So in John 16, 33, it says, I have said these things to you that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. So the things I want to I want to kind of harp on from this for a second. First of all, this is this is this declarative statement. Christ says, in this world you will have tribulation. Okay. There is uh there is an element of Christianity that teaches, that proclaims this this idea that, oh, if you have faith in Christ, your life is gonna get easier. Um, you're going to, it's, we call it the prosperity gospel, right? That's kind of uh, like a theological uh, moniker for it. And that goes pretty directly against what Christ says. He, he acknowledges this reality that um, in this world, you will have tribulation. In this world, your faith in me is going to, um, it's going to lead to struggles in life. He says, take heart, I have overcome the world. And one of the things that our faith does is it broadens our perspective. So we know, yes, we, we might suffer things now. We might face tribu tribulation now, um, whatever that looks like. And we can have a much longer discussion on what, what tribulation looks like, what it is. Not today, though, not in this devotion. But we look at that and we say, well, this is incredibly temporary compared to the eternity we're promised with Christ. And that's what he's, he's calling us to have peace, to take heart, that we have a, a Savior who calls us his own, who has overcome the world, who has overcome all of the struggles. So um, those are kind of the two things that I would I would pull from this, this passage, from this lesson. The, the first is to acknowledge that we are going to have trials and tribulations and sufferings as a result of our faith. But then there's an encouragement to keep a, a bigger perspective, right? Um, and the example I have for you is, it's going to be kind of silly, but it's if, uh, say you need a shot or you need blood drawn. Let's say you need blood drawn. I hate, I hate having blood drawn, but say you need blood drawn and there's that, the, you know, there's that mint, there's the prick, uh, kind of a little pinch that when, when they first put the needle in. Um, and then there's the, you know, 30, 30 seconds, a minute of discomfort um, with the knowledge that, you know, maybe the results of that blood test are going to lead you to be able to live a long, happy life. It's, it's going to help get out in front of something or it's going to give you some um, information about your health that's going to equip you. And so in relativity, you look at, you know, uh, we're going to say for me, I am I'm 26 years old. Um, so I have, you know, let's say 50 years ahead of me, hopefully more than that, but let's say 50 years, um, for 50 years of good health, that 30 seconds of blood work relatively, it's like, that's nothing. That's just like this little bit of suffering. And we have this whole and, and suffering. So even if you're suffering your entire life, this is a math lesson for you in the scope of infinity, you can say 75 or 100, or 120, however however long you live, even if you're suffering your entire life, in the scope of infinity, that approximates to zero. So if we keep our, our perspective eternal, we say, you know, we're going through a lot right now, but it's worth it for the victory we're promised in Jesus Christ. So um, those that, that's my warning for you today is to watch out. Um, just kind of have that awareness that suffering is, is almost promised to us. Um, but even in the midst of that suffering, keep a uh, challenge to keep an eternal perspective. So brothers and sisters, go in peace, serve the Lord. I hope to see you on Sunday.